hello patrons and subscribers to the channel. I'm just that in a new little segment on the channel where I answer your questions. Obviously patrons uh, have priority uh, and the first one I'm going to concentrate on today is Mac 3 Z0 script. A lot of you are asking for a simple uh, Z0 script to go into Mac 3. So I, I made a script a number of years ago, actually about 14 years ago. And it's worked on every uh, Mac 3 program that I've put in my computers. And uh, so no reason why it shouldn't work on yours. But uh, first time using it, use it with caution as any program in your computers. So um, I'll show you the script. I'll move me just out of the way a little bit because uh, there's a couple of alterations you would have to make on it to suit your uh, machine. So it goes something like this. Where is it? Here it is. So you can see here uh, just the head in there. Now this is this script is it's just like um, a program that you would write for a computer. Um, it's just lines of code uh, written in semi-computer language. You really don't have to understand it too much, uh, but there are maybe a couple of alterations you have to make to suit your puck. You know, on your, your, your you know your Z zero puck that you're using on your machine, um, and what you would need to do is I'm got a puck here, but this will represent the puck. Is measure it, okay, and whatever figure your your puck is, uh, you put into here, okay. So, where it says 20 millimeter there, uh, if your puck is 15 millimeter or 12 millimeter or whatever it is, you would put it into here. Um, now, I have set here, you'll see that uh, slow feed, you'll see here slow feed rate to 100 millimeters per minute. So when you press the um, auto Z0 button on Mac 3, uh, this is the speed it will come down relatively quite slowly. Um, I wouldn't suggest altering that. You can if you may, but um, obviously at that rate, a slow rate, you get a better accuracy. It'll come down, it'll just touch the probe plate and retract and you'll get a, a fairly accurate reading so I wouldn't alter that at all um, right down the bottom here uh, where it says final move uh, gauge gauge block means you know it's, it's the gauge block that's what it means or gauge height uh, plus 10 millimeter so in other words, whatever your gauge is, your, your, your pack, right, in this case 20 millimeter, um, the tool is, knows, they know, the end of the tool is going to rise an additional 10 millimeter above that. So really that's the um, important things that you need to, to uh, sort of look at. Just those two actually. This one here and this one here. If you want it to rise 12 millimeter, you would alter this figure to 12. Um, so that's it, it's very simple. You can see way back down here actually, that's when I originally uh, wrote that. Uh, and I've used it on some of my machines um, since that date. So I know it works. So what you do is to copy the whole thing. All right, so you highlight it and copy it okay so we'll oh, i've got the camera there so i've got to bend down to see where I've got to, to drop that down 
and we'll open up Mac 3. Oh, where have I gone? Where am I? There I am. Okay, so put me down in the corner here. Uh, right. So, what you do to put it into Mac 3 is come up here to Operator. I've gone again. Well, you don't need to see me at the moment. Um, then you come to uh, let me see edit button script then things will start flashing okay so then you press auto tool zero and then you get this uh, box come up here let's just make that a bit smaller that's better so I've lost it again auto tool set now you get this um, message box up here so you highlight that right click on it and cut okay then and then paste so let's uh, make this a little bit bigger like so okay so there it is there there's the relevant um, information gone into Mac 3 um, obviously Mac 3 sort of um, takes over and um, puts it into the Mac 3 program uh, and it writes it slightly different okay but the general information is there okay uh, if you make any alterations I suggest you make the alterations uh, prior to putting it into this uh, script window okay and then that's that's it really uh, once it's in it's in done and save okay and there you will be absolutely fine it uh, it'll work yeah I don't have uh, a, a machine connected to this so I can't actually demo it but uh, I'm sure that you have seen uh, you know me operate my CNC machines and me do the Z0 <laughs> Uh, well, this is the script that I use in, in the background, or one of the scripts. Um, uh, the other script uh, that I use is a very, very complicated one, where it sort of has a little bit of AI in it, uh, and it uh, sort of talks back to you. Uh, okay. Um, and of course, that is available on my Patreon pages as this one will be available on my, my patron pages uh, in the next hour or so so i hope you like this the first of the question and answer little videos and uh, the next one coming up i think is going to be a fourth axis um, question and answer uh, so that will be up next. So uh, thank you for joining me and uh, don't forget subscribe and if you really like what I'm doing uh, you may like to become a patron to the channel because it's the patrons behind the channel that uh, you know make everything happen. So uh, till the next video it's bye for now.